Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Jen here, also known as the Diamond Painting Gamer. And I have got a lovely grey bag here for you. Um, with some, hopefully, diamond painting goodies inside from FG Normal. So, um, without any further ado, let's get on with it. Now, it's a bit noisy outside today. There's some work going on. They're resurfacing the um, the pavements in our street. So yeah, you might hear a bit of workmen going on. So we've got um, one, two, ooh, three things. My creaky chair again. So what we'll do is we'll look at this first scene is this is what is um as you can kind of see that already and I think this is um a pencil case so it's got a beautiful fox on it here it's a nice um a turquoise colour and plastic this will take virtually no time to uh, drill. Oh yeah, it's lovely. Um, why did I buy this? <laughs> Question. <laughs> why did I buy this? I think I was looking for something to keep diamond painting pens in. That would be it, and wax. But said that. Oops. Oh, that covers both um, compartments. Yeah, I was looking for something to put some some diamond painting pens and wax in. I think that was my reasoning behind it. You know, just little loose bits of wax. So, yeah. So we have um, a regular toolkit here. Uh, just your standard pink pen, green boat, and a little plate of um, pink wax. And we have got our gems. Which will match up to the numbers. Numbers in the bag should match up with the numbers on the box. My little foxy box. <laughs> um, yeah, let's have a look at these. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 different colours and shapes. So um, let's uh, bring you down and we will have a little look at them in a bit more detail. I was kind of high up there. So we have got some uh, lovely light blue ABs. Um, some blue crystals. And some pink. And some purple, and some a pale orange, lime green, a darker green. Oh, some lovely and um, paralyzed pale pink domes. I don't think I've had those before. Right. Uh, some lovely uh, paralyzed white teardrops. Uh, some small fasted clear marquee and some small pink marquee. Yeah, so they'll be used for flowers, I would imagine. Yes, you can see here, down here, D and um, and C. So these are the D's here, and uh, we'll see. Let's see. Oh, here it is. There. Yeah. yeah. This is pretty. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double check that my pens will fit in there. Actually, I might use them for pens and tips rather than pens and uh, wow. So here's a couple of pens. So this is my coffee and cream pen from a Diamond Art Studio. This is a, a, I really like this one at the moment. I'm using this, it's a cat-eared pen. I love the colours. Let's see if that closes. 
Oh yeah, that clothes is flying. Yeah. We like this. Mm. What I might do is I might make that up and show it at the end of the video. Yes, I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. Right. Okay, let's move our little foxy fox away. I'm going to bring this back up again because the other two items are diamond paintings. Okay, and there we go. This one feels quite thick. Is it diamond painting? This is something else. Well, when I say it isn't a diamond painting, it is a diamond painting, but it's something else as well. Mm -hmm. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos or, or some of my whipping chats and what have you, where I've answered, you know, talked about how I got into diamond painting, <clears throat> you will know that actually I used to do paint by number first. Now, I have seen a few people, I've, I've seen this on uh, a few people's uh, uh, channels, is um, a diamond painting and paint by number in one. Now, I haven't seen it finished though, never seen them finished. You do get, um, uh, it, 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 I think there's two or three different designs. What I did was I chose probably the simplest one. Okay, with the largest spaces. And the reason being was, is even, I want to see if I, I want to get this finished um, fairly quickly so I can have a little look about what it's like and, and sort of like review it properly. Because as I don't know whether any of you have seen um, these finished or not. I certainly haven't. So I chose a nice simple one. Um, we have this uh, lady here. Um, there is your thumbnail. Now, because it's so small, it's going to be very pixelated. Um, I think, actually, it might not be too bad because it's just the back view of the lady, but you're not going to get like a huge amount of detail in her dress. So I think that was also part of my reasoning behind it as well. We want to take something nice and simple that's not going to look overly um, bad, if you, if you understand my meaning. Uh, you know you're going to you're going to see the, you know everything there, and the other thing that I thought as well was I wanted to make sure that these um, areas here for the paints were nice and big, okay, essentially so that and not too difficult. Um, now I have done quite a few paint by numbers. The spaces are teeny tiny, <laughs> and uh, they do take a very long time because essentially you need to make sure, unless you're wanting to do any blending, but even if you are wanting to do blending, you need to make sure that the paint is dry from one colour before you start on to the adjacent colour, and all that takes takes an inordinate amount of time. Um, so yeah, so that's why I thought I'd choose a simple one. And that way it shouldn't take too long for me to finish and um, yeah I can I can do a little review of it for you um so yes um now it's a soft canvas it's more of a an art you know the canvas you would normally find on a diamond on a paint by number uh, than on a diamond painting so quite a soft canvas material um, the actual glue itself on the diamond painting part is nice and sticky, so that's good. On the paint by number part, okay, now this actually feels very smooth. So what I am going to do with this part is going to, I'm going to apply some clear gesso. Um, if you just sort of hold on, I'll just pause the video and I'll go and get gesso and I'll show you what it is. Okay, so I'm back. Now, this is the gesso that I use. And what it is, uh, is um, it prepares your canvas for the paints. Um, it kind of gives it a little bit of texture, a little bit of grip. 
so um, I'm, I'm touching this canvas it feels very very smooth what I want is that canvas now to become a little bit more textured and that texture will help um, the, the paint to stick if you like to the canvas and it will help the coverage um, of the paint a lot lot better so yeah I thought I'd take some of the um, techniques that I uh, learned uh, picked up along the way about um, paint by number because you know these ones aren't quite as you know it's not like the, the ones that you got when you're a little kid <laughs> there's, there's a little bit more involved to them so um yeah i thought i would uh, give this a little go and see how it went so definitely going to gesso that um yeah in terms of uh, what i'm going to do first um, I will definitely do the diamond painting part first. If I get paint or gesso on the glue, it's a lot easier to get paint off the gems than it will be to get um, paint off the, the sticky glue bit. You know, in my opinion, obviously I haven't tried it, but um, you can remove uh, paint off the gems with a damp cloth. It's just acrylic paint. It's going to come off of the damp cloth um, if you get it on and you take it off it straight away. Um, getting the paint off the glue might be a different um, kettle of fish, so to speak. So, yeah, I would diamond paint first and then I would do the, the uh, paint by number part. Um, it is a 30 by 40 and um, this is not 30 by 40 I can tell just by looking at it but we will measure it um, just to check it is 24 and a half by um, just under 34 and a half so yeah, not 30 by 40 as advertised, but 30 by 40 canvas size, not image size. Now, um, let us look uh, and see what we've got in terms of uh, diamonds, first of all. Uh, we have a toolkit, um, ooh, very cheap mangled bit of pink wax there, um, but a basic toolkit plus some baggies as well, which are always handy. In terms of gems, we have got 16 colours. Now, they're all going to be quite neutral tones here. Um, yeah, all quite neutral tones. Some pinks as well for the skin. Uh, and these are round drills. So let's come down and you can see the gems. Oh, I need to fix this arm. It really makes clanky noises every time I, I move it. But yeah, so dark kind of pinks, pale pinks, peaches, a bit of black. And then we're into sort of greys. And pe peaches and pinks, I think. The skin tones and her dress. I think her hair is going to be a brown. And also shadows. But yes, as I said, quite a neutral colour palette. Hmm. Got a lot of um, 3865. I think a lot of that's actually going to be in her dress. Yep, so they're our diamonds. Okay, now what we'll do now is uh, we'll just uh, go up a little bit and we'll look at the um, the uh, paint by number part. So we have um, two paint brushes here. Um, they're not too bad quality. Um, we've got a flat brush and we have got a pointed brush. I can't see at a glance any loose hairs coming off them um, if you do, do get uh, you do paint by numbers or, or any kind of painting and you do see little loose hairs at the top of the brush what you need to do oops is that focusing okay 
that's a little bit better what you need to know there's no loose here so what you need to do is you just need to snip them off with a pair of fine scissors i've got a little pair of um needle working scissors um that i used for, for tripping, trimming hairs off of brushes um this isn't too bad a brush actually it feels quite comfortable however i do find that these um these cheap brushes with the kit you know it's kind of like the diamond painting toolkits you kind of get the basic um setup um if you've been diamond painting for any length of time you're not using the, that green boat and pink pen although they're you know sufficient to do a diamond painting and it's the same with paint by numbers um these are fine to do the paint by numbers along with the paint you don't need the extras um however you know if you've been doing paint by number for any length of time you know all the stuff about gesso and preparing your canvas um i've actually got much better pe paints um brushes than this i've actually got um uh I'll, I'll link I'll, I'll try and link everything that i've got in terms of paint by number down below as well but um a lot of them i didn't actually buy online i bought from art shop um but i'll see if i can find similar you know on amazon or something as well um i've actually got model brushes um that i use for paint by numbers because quite often you know these um areas are so small and so fine that you know getting into them like here for example uh, if you can see it you've got this section here and uh, you know in here you've got these in here as well you've got these tiny tiny lines quite often I, I would do them with uh, a cocktail stick and not with a paintbrush um, just because the paintbrush is too thick so yeah yeah, a couple of little tips, you know, I'll, I'll try and do some bits and pieces. What I might do actually is, um, once I've done the diamond painting section of this, I might do the paint by number maybe as a whipping chat. Yeah, that might be a good idea actually. Anyway, um, here are the paints. Again, all very neutral tones. I went with something really simple so that I could do it reasonably quickly and I could do a post review for you. Um, there are six colours and they're all sort of like whites and creams and uh, sort of like going up in intensity to a darker sort of um, reddy brown colour. Now, um, you may find on some of these um, paints, um, if they're a translucent paint, so this for example might be a quite a translucent paint um you can see the numbers through them but the creamier paints that are more opaque like these ones here they you know you'll be fine you don't think the number will show through them but when i, I yeah i have decided i think i will do the paint by number part as a whipping chat and i will go through um swatching and you know how to cover up your numbers and extending the life of your paints and about gessoing as well so yeah We'll, we'll cover all that we'll cover all that if you're interested and if you haven't done any paint by number before right okay let's put this lovely lady away and we will see what is in our um our last pack so let's uh go back up a bit and get a little uh, so we can get everything in shot and a little bit higher there we go i think that might be doing it Okay, let's see what we've got for our last one. Oh dear. <laughs> I just turned that all the way around. I've got my big I've got my big scissors out rather than my little ones. Maybe I should get my little ones because this is quite close to the top. Or maybe I should just come into it from the other side. That's it. Now this should be just a regular diamond painting. Oh yes. And um this is the first round drill diamond painting I've got for a while. So that quite a bit a mix in this order actually. We've got our little um oh well, we'll go through it later, but let's have a look at this. Now I am 
the Diamond Painting Gamer. And my console of choice. Let's check. Now this is poured glue, that's fine. <laughs> I'm always a bit nervous about this after what happened with my with my um <laughs> mystery diamond painting that happened. <laughs> yeah, that happened. <laughs> Let's sort this out a bit more. Uh, oh gosh, this is so sticky. This is really sticky. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Oh, oh my. Oh, look at this. Look. <laughs> look how sticky that is. Oh my gosh. Look at that. This doesn't want to let go. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. Let's. Let's. Uh, Flatten this out. Let us flatten this out. And take it at the other side as well. It is so... I mean, it's really good quality plastic, actually. It's nice and thick. Oh, whoa! <laughs> you see it pulling on the canvas there. We will get there. We will get there. <laughs> okay, that's us. As I was saying, I am a the Diamond Painting Gamer. And I don't know if we can see all this. Let's just go up a little bit further. Let's see. Can you see that? Yeah, that's better. So, yep, I am the Diamond Painting Gamer. And uh, my console of choice, as I was saying, is the Sony PlayStation. And uh, these symbols here are the buttons on the Sony PlayStation controller. Um... Yeah, that's all. But it's, it's cool. It's, you know, my kind of my kind of thing. Um, we have um twenty colours. It is round, and the symbols, if you like, are all uh, alphanumeric numbers and letters, and they go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then A, B, C, D, E, F, and up to missing a few out, but up in number order, letter number order, and then letter order. So, um, yeah, I feel like I'm bringing you up and down at the moment, but we'll bring you down and you can have a look at the uh, drill field. And, oh, there's my creaky, my creaky one's going on again. Creak. So, um, drill field isn't too bad. There's going to be an awful lot of colour blocking. Uh, number one's all 310. We do have a bit of a shine here. Um... I can't see any um, issues with colours. I think um, uh, up here um, we've got um, P and B, um, which are both two different shades of green. Um, that might not be great, but we'll uh, we'll see what it's like when we're doing. Hmm. I've got a feeling five and six might be a problem. No, it's not. It's not. Well, maybe a little. Um, I would just say five, five is um, pink and six is uh, red. And they might be in different areas, but I can see some fives and sixes here and up here. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to pay attention to some of it. Um... Yep, so I mean, not the clearest of drill fields. I have seen better. It actually looks a lot better through the camera lens than it does um, with the naked eye. But you know, worst things come to the worst, so we use a light pad. That's what they're there for. Um, but yeah, it came with a basic tool kit once again. And the drills are all individually bagged. So that is absolutely super. Um, I'm not going to bother getting them all out because you can kind of see them all there. And um, we've got lots of black for the background, lots of 310. Um, no 939 though, so that's fine. But we've got some um, dark, so lots of blacks. Oops, I'm wiggling them around. Let's, let's go up a little bit. Eh? Uh, 
yeah so i've got some um blacks dark blues browns browns will be for the background um light blues and then purples reds pinks uh, more purples and blues and pinks and a greens yep to match in with the the colors of this the um the symbols of the playstation buttons so i'm gonna i'm gonna enjoy making this up this is going to be a bit of fun for me and uh yeah i think it should go quite quickly there's going to be a lot of multi-placing right so um let's have a quick recap with what we got in the order so um we have our playstation gaming symbols uh, we have our um combination diamond painting paint by number and the first thing we got out was our cute little box pencil case so um yeah i am going to go off and i'm going to make this up and i will come back to you in well be a few seconds time for you uh with uh, the completion on uh this wee guy here and uh you can see him in all his wonderful glory okay i shall I see you all in a more cheerio okay everyone welcome back um it's been about an hour since i did the unboxing and here is uh the finished uh pencil case it uh is so cute it's lovely didn't take very long at all um drills are, are fantastic a um, couple of bits of trash but you know it's kind of to be expected with uh, rhinestones crystal rhinestones you do get a little bit more trash with them than you do with the regular acrylic drills um just a couple of points um i might seal this i might not it's got just good probably not actually because it's just really going to sit on my desk here um but there's, there's no stick around here the glue was only just on the areas where the drills went so that's fantastic i did replace a couple of drill um swap a couple of drills over so um this for example here that was supposed to be um the clear marquee um but i replaced it with this uh, teardrop instead so that it matched up with the other ear i thought it looked a bit odd and also um this drill here um that was a gr the dark green rhinestone um but i've replaced it with the blue ab just to sort of like you know i think it looks a lot better like that you know than um the way that it had originally been charted uh yeah but um apart from that i really really like this it's uh it's really super and uh, it will do just the job uh to keep my pens and my um yeah i think either the wax or the the pen tips uh, nice and secure and so pens in here uh, i've got some oops i've got some tips here there we go some tips um i, I pull these off of the off of the pink panes <laughs> um uh, get rid of the pink bit and uh, but i keep the tips aside but yeah um that, that's uh that's quite good yeah it seems to work fine so uh, absolutely thrilled um just in case you're interested uh these are the leftover drills i had um yeah reasonable amount left over quite a lot of the greens actually uh yeah but um not too bad there you go not too bad anyway um that's it for uh this video um yep i will uh start to get a move on with the diamond painting part of the the um the paint by number um so it'll probably be a couple of weeks maybe before i sort of like get the whip and chat up and running maybe a wee bit sooner we'll see how we go um <laughs> you know I'm, I'm quite a quite fluid you know like a, i don't really have a, a schedule or a, a plan around uh, the videos that i do so yeah i just do what takes my fancy when it takes my fancy if you know what i mean <laughs> anyway um 
can I just say uh, thank you very, very much for watching. If you've liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button down below. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already and you've been watching for a while, uh, or even if you've just stumbled across me um, today, um, why don't you hit that subscribe button? I would love to have you along on my journey. And I shall see you all in my next video. Cheerio, guys.